I'm Neil Clark, and in this talk I'm going to give a brief introduction to the ideas of uh, machine learning. So uh, first I'll give the, the big picture, the, the broad uh, ideas of uh, the aims of, of machine learning, and then I'm going to talk, I'm going to, I'm going to define what I mean by regression and classification, and then I'm going to give two of the the kind of building blocks for um, the more advanced um, machine learning methods, um, the, which are the, the linear methods of re regression and classification. And then I'm going to go on to some uh, uh, to give a brief sort of sketch of some of the more advanced um, ideas in machine learning that are very uh, often uh, uh, used in the literature, um, neural networks and support vector machines. And finally I'm going to talk about um, how do we assess our um, machine learning models and, and, and estimate their errors. The field of machine learning is um, one of a number of interrelated fields and it, broadly speaking it sits on the interface between statistics and computer science. Uh, as the name suggests, it's descended from the field of, of artificial intelligence. But the, broadly speaking, the, the aim of, of machine learning is to learn from data in an automatic way. So typically, um, the machine will take as, as input a training data set. And there, there will be an algorithm which automatically um, extracts um, uh, meaningful relationships from the data. These relationships can then be used to make predictions uh, uh, about future uh, data and we can also be interpreted to gain some kind of understanding of the system at hand. Now broadly speaking there are uh, two main categories of machine learning methods. First there are supervised learning methods and this is when uh, the data uh, that we receive um, is of the form of an input and an output set. On the right here I've got a figure that, to illustrate a specific example. Um, here the input data is an, an image of a handwritten digit and the output, the corresponding output, is the digit that is being written by hand. Now the aim here of a machine learning uh, uh, approach might be to find a way to predict what is the digit that is being written from an image of a handwritten uh, uh, digit. The results of this analysis could then be used to make predictions um, uh, of, uh, uh, from future data. For example, we might receive an image and our machine could then predict which digit is being written in that image. The other broad class is unsupervised learning. And in this case, there is no output set. We only have input. So in this case, the machine is, uh, the, the job of the machine is to discover meaningful structure in the data itself. Now. An example of this is, is clustering. Um, uh, in the image on the right here, we're showing a, a heat map of, of uh, gene expression uh, profiles from a number of um, breast cancer tumors. And a, a clustering algorithm, uh, w which is a form of unsupervised learning, might be able to divide the tumors into uh, into into breast cancer subtypes, for example. So now I'm going to um, try and give um, the general framework for, um, for machine learning. Suppose we're given um, an input datum, which is a vector x, which may have p real valued attributes. For concreteness, you might want to think about uh, a, a gene expression profile with with p genes. Then let's say for each of these data vectors we also receive uh, some output value y. This might be uh, the measurement of a physiological parameter such as survival for example. Then 
the aim of, uh, of, of the, the machine learning approach would be to try to find the function f which takes our input and optimally predicts the value of the output. The one way to formulate this problem is in terms of a loss function. Now the loss function quantifies the the how close the prediction is to the out uh, to the to the truth. So if, uh, to make this concrete, a simple example would be um, of a loss function would be to take the value of the output, find the difference of the the predicted value f of x. So y minus f of x is the difference between your prediction and the truth, and then square that. And the the square means that um, the loss function has its smallest value when your prediction is exactly the same as the truth. So then the idea is to find the the prediction function, the predictor function f, which minimizes the loss. And by minimizing the loss, we uh, we make the, we're uh, optimally predicting uh, the output. When you minimize the, the loss function, the the result is that the your your optimal predictor function is the conditional expectation of the output conditioned on the value of the input. We can write this uh, as in this equation here. Now, typically, the the value of the input that we want will not be part of our input. Uh, our training data set. So the most direct way uh, to approach this situation is to look at those values of your input data that are closest to the value uh, that you that you want and then find the uh, the mean value of the corresponding outputs in that case and this is called the uh, the nearest neighbor approach. Another very commonly applied uh, approach is to uh, make a limiting assumption on the f on the form of of the predictor function f to assume that it is linear. Now, when the value of the output variable is a is a, a category, is a categorical variable, then this process is called uh, classification. Broadly speaking, what you're trying to do in a classification problem is to take some input data and predict from that a category. So for example, we might take a gene expression profile and predict what subtype of cancer this ex expression profile may have come from. When the output variable is a continuous variable, it's typically called uh, regression. And I'm going to talk about two um, of the most fundamental approaches to classification and regression next.